And Lindsay, thank you. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in our state seems to grow every single day, and we're seeing more people get tested too. So here's where we are right now. Indiana has seen four deaths because of the virus and 126 cases. So far, Marion County has seen the most cases, followed by Hamilton County. Many counties have seen just one case, and then more than 800 people statewide have been tested. And we have new information this morning about getting tested for the coronavirus. The White House now says not everyone will be. Officials say they've got to save resources to treat the sickest patients. In New York, that means only those who need to be hospitalized. And in Los Angeles this weekend, providers have been told to stop testing mild cases so they can try and minimize possible exposure to health care workers. Commercial testing is ramping up, though, including a new FDA-approved rapid test that gives results in 45 minutes. Meanwhile, five states are now telling everyone to stay home to try and slow the spread, including our neighbors in Illinois. It's really hard to feel like you're saving the world when you're watching Netflix from your couch. But if we do this right, nothing happens. It does continue to spread, though. Nationwide, there have been more than 22,000 confirmed cases. Here in central Indiana, we're hearing inspiring stories of Hoosiers stepping up to help people in need. Bub is 33 in Greenwood. We'll again be handing out 33 free pizzas today to uh, whoever shows up starting at 333. They started this yesterday, and we'll be doing it for at least the next 10 days. We want to support our community. Our community is here for us, you know, 365 days a year. But right now, times are tough. And strangers pitching in to buy toilet paper for a firehouse. They were running dangerously low at the Greenwood Station, and a simple errand turned into a simple act of kindness. Listen to what happened. Three packages might have been over the limit, uh, and when the cashier recognized that and said something to him, the ladies in front of him in line actually said, we'll take care of that. And so they took it out of his hands and actually purchased it for him. And we want to keep sharing these Hoosier acts of kindness. If you've seen or heard about anything lately, let us know about it. Just share it online using the hashtag 13sunrise. That is one of the positives, you know, in times of trouble, we tend to see humanity at its best. So beautiful. And I did see a lot of people out um, at Fort Harrison State Park yesterday, Lindsay. Even though it was a little chilly, it was great to see families getting out and mm -hmm. kids smiling and laughing and saying hi to every person they <laughs> see. Because they're not used to seeing as many people. Yeah, the walls are kind of closing in. Yeah. <laughs> well, today, um, probably not the best weather to get outside. Unfortunately, I know we're all hoping for some better days on the horizon. We're going to see that. We're just going to have to deal with some rain and uh, perhaps a light uh, light wintry mix for the course of this afternoon into to, uh, later tonight. Now, tomorrow, looking much better. Your high today around 40, even cooler in the northern tier of the state. But 50 tomorrow. We'll talk about the improvements in the warming trend in the next seven days coming up. Dustin. All right, Lindsay. Usually weekends mean people are out and about. But with so many people staying home this weekend, looking a little different. And Meredith, a lot of people are posting about their quarantines on social media, providing a little bit of levity here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so my goal right now, if you're watching at home, is to bring at least a smile to your face, if not to make you laugh by sharing some of the best stuff that we're seeing on social media. This first one, a meme. And I think it's a new classic, if I can get it to come up. Who remembers places? Just remembers going anywhere. I love that one. Kate saying, this quarantine has made me realize I truly have no hobbies except going out to eat and spending money. Rather pathetic of me. Sarah saying, I came downstairs to this, and it's her, it's her daughter playing cards with her cat. She uses the hashtag, she misses her friends. Absolutely good for her, though, for staying inside. Colleen actually finding a good hobby. She goes, yep, I'm now in the paint-by-numbers phase of the COVID-19 quarantine, and that's pretty good. Very impressed with that. Mark saying, my granddaughter screamed to their parents that the toilet was smoking. And check that out. That's pretty creative. I have to give her credit on that one. And Carl saying, it takes 364 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Thank you, Carl, for figuring that out for us. That is his quarantine activity, answering some burning questions from the past. So hopefully that brought a smile to someone's face, guys. 